This is Twit. I did want to just check in on DDoS attacks. Uh, we haven't talked about DDoS for a long time, but last Thursday, the site NetScout posted a notice about the abuse of Internet-exposed Plex Media servers and their SSDP protocol, which, of course, we've spoken of often. Uh, SSDP is... Uh, 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 I'm looking for it here in the notes. You know, it, it, it's the uh, UPnP uh, protocol, um, but I'm blanking on what it is. Oh, I'll run across it here in my notes. Uh, anyway, uh, we've not talked about DDoS for a while. Uh, what NetScout wrote, I thought, was interesting. They said Plex Media Server is a personal media library, of course, and we know, and streaming system which runs on modern Windows, Mac OS, and Linux OS. I've got it running in my Drobos for a number of applications. They said, along with variants customized for special purpose platforms, such as network-attached storage devices, external RAID storage, digital media players, etc. They said, upon startup, Plex probes the local network using the, uh, it's called G'day Mate GDM Network Service Discovery Protocol to locate other compatible media devices and streaming clients. It also appears to make the use of SSDP probes to locate universal plug-and-play gateways on broadband internet access routers which have SSDP enabled. So once again, this is another reason for always disabling SSDP, you know, the, the public side universal plug and play, unless you know you need it. They said when a universal plug and play gateway, UPnP, is discovered via this methodology, Plex attempts to utilize NAT PMP to instantiate dynamic NAT forwarding rules on the broadband internet access router. In other words, to open a port to itself so that it is available and discoverable on the internet. And I have no idea why. You know, this is just insane. On January 7th of this year, Baidu Labs, in a Chinese language web blog post, described a UDP reflection amplification DDoS attack vector leveraging Plex's media server instances running versions of the Plex software prior to 1.21. In early February 2021, NetScout Arbor were notified that reflection amplification DDoS attacks were a were appeared to be leveraging abusable Plex media server instances which were actively taking place on the public internet. Okay, so first of all, so the Plex media server has this functionality where when it comes up, it will check with the gateway to see if your router has UPnP enabled as they typically do now because, you know, if it's, you know, it's a feature we can advertise. Like all of those uh, ridiculous uh, protocol gateways that I talked about disabling last week. So in this case, the, you know, the, the, the web application uh, protocol gateways. In this case, it will find typically a universal plug and play gateway, use uh, SSDP, sim simple service discovery protocol, to... Um, to talk to it and arrange to map a port through to itself, presenting itself on the public internet. Because what could possibly go wrong? According to an announcement published on Plex's website on February 5th, Plex media server instances, which have either been deployed on a public-facing network DMZ or in an internet data center or with manually configured port forwarding rules which forward specific UDP ports from the public internet to devices running Plex Media Server, or which have uh, are behind a router with UPnP operating 
can potentially be abused as part of possible DDoS attacks. So at least Plex is aware of this. The problem is that how many Plex users are aware of this? They said these actions can have the effect of exposing a Plex UPnP enabled service registration responder to the general internet, where it can be abused to generate reflection amplification DDoS attacks. In order to differentiate this particular attack vector from generic SSDP reflection amplification, it has been designated as Plex Media SSDP or PM SSDP. To date, <laughs> and get this, approximately 37,000 abusable PM SSDP reflectors amplifiers have been identified on the public internet. So yes, it's the default, right? By default, it reaches out and checks for universal plug and play. By default, consumer routers have that enabled. By default, it will create a mapping back to itself. And as a consequence, 37,000 of these Plex media servers are poking them their, their, their nose out onto the internet and now they're of interest to attackers. They may not be able to log on to them or care what's there, but there is a server which they're able to bounce packets, you know, DDoS traffic off of. And being SSDP, it is UDP, which means you don't have to have a TCP handshake. You can it, UDP, as we know, is perfectly spoofable. So you're able to lie about your source IP send a packet there and the the that device will bounce a larger packet back to presumably you but if you've spoofed your IP to your DDoS attack target so they said amplified pm ssdp DDoS attack traffic consists of ssdp http/u meaning an http protocol over udp responses sourced from ports 32414 and 32410 or abusable Plex, Plex media server instances and directed towards attack targets. Each amplified response a, a packet ranges from 52 bytes to 281 bytes in size for an average amplification factor of about 4.68 to 1. So not a huge amplifier, but there's 37,000 of them sitting there on the internet just hoping you're going to send a UDP packet off of them that they can increase in size and bounce toward your target. They said observed single vector. We got So we're going to have the term single vector and multi-vector now is the jargon of of uh, DDoS attacks, observed single vector PM SSDP reflection amplification DDoS attacks, attacks range in size from about two gigabits to three gigabits. Multi vector, meaning two to 10 vectors, and omni vector, which is considered 11 or more vectors, meaning um, where vectors are are different things that packets are bounced off of. So the PM SSDP would be one vector among many. So if it's a if it's attacks are only based on PM SSDP, that is the Plex media server, those attach to attacks are typically around two to three gig. But there are multi-vector, two to 10 vectors, and omni-vector, 11 or more vector attacks, which incorporate now PM SSDP as one of their multiple vectors because, again, 37,000, why not? Those range from the low tens of gigabits per second up to 218 gigabits per second. So that is to say, one fifth, more than one fifth of a terabit per second. They said, this is NetScout, as is routinely the case with newer DDoS attack vectors. 
it appears that after an initial period of employment by advanced attackers with access to uh, bespoke DDoS attack infrastructure, PM SSDP has been weaponized and added to the arsenals of so-called booter stressor DDoS for higher services, you know, booter as being booted off the internet, um, placing it within the reach of the general attacker population. They said, to date, more than 5,500 PM SSDP, meaning single vector reflection amplification DDoS attacks have been observed on the public internet, leveraging approximately 15,000 distinct abusable PMSSDP reflector amplifiers, meaning approximately 15,000 distinct Plex Media servers. They said it should be noted that a single vector PMSSDP reflection attack, uh, um, attack of two to three gigs in size is often sufficient to have a significant negative impact on the availability of targeted networks, servers, and services. The incidence of both single vector and multi or omni vector attacks leveraging PMSSDP has increased significantly since November of 2020, indicating its perceived utility to attackers. In other words, they've added the Plex Media servers to their bag of tricks for these omni vector, multi vector attacks because, again, you got tens of thousands of them, so why not? And I'll just finish with the question, or answering the question, just how prevalent have DDoS, DDoS attacks become these days? To answer the question, Bleeping Computer opened an email dialogue with Richard Hummel, who's NetScout's manager of threat intelligence. Richard wrote that, quote, the total number of Plex Media SSDP attacks from January 1st to present day clocked in at approximately 5,700 compared to the uh, more than 11 million attacks in total we saw during the same time frame. That was from January 1st of 2020. So uh, that's what, a year and a month or a year and a month and a half, 11 million DDoS attacks. So, wow, there are plenty of them.